All right, hey everybody. So we're gonna be doing these acrylic awards. As you can kind of see they've got some interest to them. Um, we're gonna be engraving these for a customer that we've done repetitively. <clears throat> um, although these are slightly different size than they were before. We, go, we went with a little bit larger size. So <clears throat> we've built the template that I will show you in one second. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, engrave it here on the uh, Omtech laser. So, one moment. All right, so these are the acrylic awards. Um, you can kind of see a little example here, but I'll show you, show you another image in a moment. Um, I've already built a template to fit the spacing. <clears throat> And that's what these are. I've already laid these art, laid the art out, um, made the background a different color so that we can separate that in Lightroom. And you'll see what I'll do is when we export these, I'll just pull that inside spacing piece away and we'll export this and that'll give us our references for proper placement. All right, so um, when you're doing repetitive awards, especially something that's a custom shape like these, um, and you want a good reference for placement uh, on the laser bed before you do your engraving, here's a tip and what I will walk through on this process. I'm gonna basically just use a little bit of a, a ply. Um, we're gonna put that in the laser and then we're gonna basically just cut the outline shape, let the laser cut it, the outline shape of the awards, and then we'll have perfect repetitive placement once that's done. All right, so we're here at the laser. Basically just put that in. Doesn't really matter exactly where. I'm gonna use our magnet hold downs that we've built just to kind of keep a good pressure on uh, keep a consistent placement. And then we will get that job uh, going. All right, so here we are in Lightburn. We'll go ahead and import the first plaque job. Whoops. All right. Of course, the compressor decides to kick on. <clears throat> so hopefully it won't be too loud for you guys. So, zoom out a little bit here, drag that down into the workspace, alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that outline color to a red, and then the inside will be our burn, but for right now, since all we want to do is cut this template, I'm going to turn off the output on the middle engraving. And we're going to do just this outline, and we're going to set that. Double check my settings on this particular wood. So we run this at, whoop, just lost it. Gotta love it, okay. So we run this at 525. So I've currently got it at 625, that should be fine, but let's go ahead and drop it just to be safe. All right, so that will give us our cut. And then once we've got that cut, we'll be able to use that as our placement template. We'll do another frame out. All right, we're looking good. So we will go ahead and have it run that cut. Now that our cut is done, <clears throat> we'll use that for hold downs. We'll pop out the center piece. And now that gives us our location. For the award. 
And you can check your alignment when you're doing your placement. And then that gives us <clears throat> our reference. And you can actually even slide the magnets to give it a better hold location. Now, sometimes I'll do another one down here. Here we go. So now, we've got a consistent placement. And you can go to town with your engraving. All right, so now that we've got our acrylic in place and we've got our template done, gonna reset our uh, bed height to our focal length. And then since we set an origin, all we have to do is click go to origin and it'll go right back to the home position that we set when we originally did that cut so we know that our placement is accurate. Um, I've got the outside line now turned off, the inside fill set. Let's give her a run. So that job is finished. There you go. Of course, we haven't wiped it down yet, but you get the general idea. Sorry, out of, view, out of view. And then you'll see the next one is a quick load because we've got our template in place, our magnets set, our home position is super easy to find, and we're ready for the next job. So here you go. Here's an example after a wipe down of what they look like. Now we'll continue on with the uh, rest of them. All right, guys, sorry about the noise with the compressor, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, so that was the last one in the jig. All right, so here we go. That is all of them with consistent placement and good results. Probably a little fuzzy, but that's the camera. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope that uh, is helpful. Um, please hit that like and subscribe and check out some of our other videos. And I appreciate you stopping in, and I hope that you have a great one. Take care.